Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is very early on, I don't even know what morning it is, very early. Um, yes, this is probably the last video I'll do this, this before Christmas. I think I've got some surprises for you in between Christmas and New Year, but we'll see how that goes. Um, good morning, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to probably my, definitely my last video before Christmas. Um, so yeah, I haven't had a chance to run the 572 properly, with a big tree or some, some wood properly, um, but I feel like the biggest thing with chainsaws now, my chainsaw journey if you like, which is really what this channel is all about, um, it's just, it's the weight thing more than the power thing. You know, what, what I'm learning with porting and with choosing the right chainsaw and that sort of thing is actually power, and of course you can file your rakers and stuff to match, power kind of is less of a thing now, isn't it? Um, but the weight is something you can't really change. So, and actually, thank you for all the comments on the 572 video. Actually, what people are saying is really interesting, the 572 comments. A lot of people saying, basically reading between the lines, they don't mind the extra weight of the 572 over, say, a 462 or a 500i, because it feels more quality and they feel that the ergonomics are better. And I've always thought that about Huskies as well. I've got to admit, I tend to pick up a Husky slightly in preference to a still. I do love a still. Just because I prefer the way they handle, whether that's because I've always used them or whether that's because they just suit me better, I don't know. But anyway, I have a luggage weigher here and I'm just going to weigh some saws, primarily the things you can just see out of shot there, 572XP, 500i, 500i has got a still light 28 inch bar on, the 572 has got a normal husky heavy uh, 24 inch bar on. So I'm just gonna get going and weigh them, I think. Let's weigh the benchmark, but then we've got some other stuff. So I might also weigh 181, 394 will be in, I think I'll just also weigh 394 and then 372. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Okay. Oh. We need to zero, zero. We're in kilos. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that's interesting. That's heavier than I thought. 8.5 kilos for a 500i. Can I show you that quick before it goes off? 8.5 kilos. 8.5 kilos. For a 500i with the 28 inch still light bar and the bar cover on, but you know, the Husky's got a bar cover on as well. Fair is fair, isn't it? Right, this is the interesting one. What does the Husky weigh in the real world with a bar on, with some fuel in? Oh, wow, a kilo more. 9.5 kilos. Wow, that is surprising. 9.5 kilos. Wow, I am shocked, actually. I mean, they've both got fuel in. How much fuel? Husky's about half full. Still. Oh, still might even be empty, actually. It's not very fair, is it? Oh no, still is about, I don't know, a third? Yeah, maybe a third. So what could you add? You could add about 250 grams to the still. Sorry, we're all in metric. We're in Europe. We're in UK. Um, about 250 grams. So you could take that 8.5 to 8.75. Still a lot of weight. That is a really heavy bar on that Husky though. So, but I'm, I've wanted to do this for ages because this is reality, isn't it? You can look at the power head weights when they're dry and you know, those can be manipulated. 
And also, it doesn't say what bar, you know, it, what bar you have on a saw and how much fuel and oil and stuff is um, it's a real thing, isn't it? So let, let me get two other saws now then. Let me get a 394 and a 572 XP, a 372 XP, sorry. Let me go and get those. We'll see what they're just barred up. Exactly the same. I've no idea how much fuel and oil in. They're barred up. But crucially, they're as I would pick them up to go to the woods. So it's what I'm really testing is which one is going to be more tiring to use. That's where I'm going with this. Let's go and see what they weigh. Okay, cocaine. Wow, this is interesting actually. The geek in me loves this. Okay, so I have my 372 XP on the floor. Um, but it is, this is the one with the Chinese big bore and the silly pipe. And don't even know what bar. 9.1 kilos though. What bar? Oh, we've got that really light Panther 5 24 inch bar on. This pipe probably weighs a bit. No idea what the state of the fuel and oil is. 9.1 kilos. See if it'll stay on the scale long enough for me to show you. So 9.1. There you go. Which does kind of, that kind of correlates with the 572, doesn't it? 572 being slightly heavier. Whoops. Sorry, knocked you a bit there. Put the light back up. Got a light now for you. Hopefully that's working well. Um, yeah, so that kind of correlates, doesn't it? 572 was 9.4. That was 9.1. Right then, we've also got 461. Now with that, remember I thought this saw was always really heavy. So I put the 24 inch light bar on. Still got 24 inch light bar. See what that weighs. Nine point one as well. So exactly the same as my three seven two with a light bar on. So that's interesting. Nine point one. Oh, right then. So finally, let's weigh the big boy. The 394. Bet, come on, put bet, put down in the comments what you think this is going to weigh. And I've just got this for comparison, really. Um, what do you think this thing will weigh? It's got to be 10 plus, isn't it? Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. 10.8. And this hasn't got a particularly light bar on either. This got 24 inch, the same bar actually, but it's on the 572, a heavy, husky, standard bar. Not the husky, light and tough. Oh, didn't see it. There you go, yeah. 10 point, did I say 10.8? Do it again, do it again, because I'm interested in this one. 11, no, 10.8, 10.8, so a lot heavier. What else have we got we could weigh? What else have we got? Why not, just for comparison. Just for comparison, my 66, Husky 66, but with a 266 top end on and a 20 inch bar, not a light bar. Just a, again, the Husky, the same Husky bar a lot of these Huskies have got on, which is a heavy, uh, heavy construction, but heavy duty bar. Now this is a saw that I would pick up to do light work, really, because it was a lighter saw. 8.3, crikey. It all just shows how light a 500i is really, doesn't it? That bar, that saw, 8.3 kilos. There's the light again. 8.3 kilos. 
Okay, one more, one more, one more, one more. Because this is really the other competitor, isn't it? So the last saw is going to be a 7900. 7900 with 24 inch steel light bar on it. So this is actually really interesting because I think these used to be the best power to weight ratio saw you could buy. Again, see, 9.2. So they're heavy. That saw has always felt heavy to me. It's always felt heavier than it should have been on paper. 9.2, there you go. 9.2 for the Makita. So, let's do a roundup. Well, I hope you're a geek like me, <laughs> really, because I actually found that really interesting. Um, obviously the, the strength really of the 500i, I think, having run it a bit now, is not the power. We've proven in the races with the 372XPs, you know, that ported 372XP cuts basically as fast as the 500i. But what we've also proven is the 500i weighs, even with a 28 inch bar versus a 24, um, it weighs three quarters of a kilo, so a pound and a half less. And you can feel that when you just pick them up. But, because we're going at this from an angle of how tired do you get when you use the saw, etc. That 500 is still a seven horsepower saw. So when you're in the cut and you're trying to control seven horsepower, it's quite tiring actually. I don't do this every day, I'm not a pro, but do you know what, after a tank of fuel through that 500i, I, I could do with a glass of water. It's not too bad, I'm fit, I'll work out a bit, do a bit of this and a bit of that, fitness wise. Seven horsepower gets to you after a while. But the, you know, that's the same as this 394, really. And this 394 weighs 10.8 kilos, so it's two, more than two kilos more than a 500i for the same power. Crazy, absolutely crazy. What I've also learned is 461 is actually quite a light saw. I mean, that 461 is lighter than that Makita 7900. So this Makita 7900, I've always thought was a heavy saw. But again, up in that seven horsepower range, we've proven, cuts basically as fast as a 500i. But for a penalty of, again, about half a kilo, so a pound. Why is this so heavy? Is a Dolma 7900 lighter? I'm interested. Never, I'm really pleased about that because it never felt that light to me. And what we've also proven, really, is that a 572 and a 372 weigh about the same. So, tell me what you think. I think, I think that's really interesting. What I'm also shocked at is that a fully fueled 70cc saw with a bar on and some oil in it is over 9 kilos. Never mind all that. I always had it in my mind. You, you read the unit only weights, don't you? So 6 kilos, six and a half, seven kilos... They're not, you could add another two kilos to that. Surprising, isn't it? Anyway, thank you for everything in 2023. You guys have been amazing. Your comments are amazing. Very helpful, very helpful in getting this 268 on the road. Hopefully in the new year we'll have that running. Um, yes, because even though this might not be the last video of the year, this is the last video in the shed of the year, definitely. Um, so just thank you for everything. We're getting near to that thousand subscribers, which is near, which is at the point where YouTube will start paying me a very small amount of money, um, which means I can buy more stuff for the channel. We can do some chain comparisons. We can do some oil comparisons. We can do a lot. It becomes a bit self-supporting then, which is a bit better, isn't it? Um, thank you to all the people that have done the super likes and the, there's a couple of options on the top of the channel to do the one-off payments. That stuff makes a massive difference. I guess it's like buying me a little beer as a thank you or something, but I really appreciate that, so thank you. Um, but you're all just amazing. 
Thank you ever for all your views and comments and everything in 2023. And let's get into 2024. Smash that about. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Hope you get out and do some cutting. Hope Santa brings you a big saw and an axe and some porting tools. And um, look forward to seeing you again very soon. But do look out. There's another video from me before the end of the year. You'll probably enjoy it. It'll be chainsaw geekery at the highest level. So... Love you all, you're all amazing, and we'll speak to you again soon. Thank you very much.